Bible said at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Every knee must bow. At the mention of that name, Jesus. The name that is above every other name. At the mention of that name, every name must bow. As the Lord is breathing his name over you this morning, I command every knee to bow. Every knee of problem to bow. Every knee of sickness to bow. Every knee of principality to bow. Every knee of frustration to bow. In the mighty name of Jesus. At the mention of that name, Jesus. Every knee must bow. I command every knee of problems in your life to bow. Jesus, take over this morning. Breathe afresh upon us this morning. Breathe upon your word this morning. Let your word bring life. Let your word bring peace. Let your word bring salvation. Let your word bring solution. Let your word bring upliftment. Let your word bring a turn around. Breathe upon your children this morning. Every dead area of their life, Father, I command life in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive life this morning. In your home, receive life. In your businesses, receive life. At the place of work, receive life. In your spiritual life, receive life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. Father, this morning, let me decrease why Jesus in Christ, O Lord. Let no man see me, but let them see Jesus. Holy Spirit, tabernacle in this place this morning. Touch every soul. Do that that only you can do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, anointed voices. You may be seated. I want you to welcome your neighbor. Tell him or her you are welcome to my father's house. You are welcome to my father's house. Say it like you mean it's your father's house. Because your father is here already waiting for you. So welcome them to your father's house. Hallelujah. Greetings from the pastor. He's uh, away for a little while. And by the grace of God, we have been talking on a topic, Abraham's blessings are mine for the whole month. And uh, today being the last Sunday of the month, we are going to be rounding up on this topic. Uh, I will be summarizing what the pastor has been teaching us. And then we are going to declare some prophetic statements. Because whether the enemy likes it or not, we have been exposed to what we ought to do so that we can walk in this Abrahamic covenant blessings. What is blessing, if you really look at it? What is blessing? When we say, oh, Abraham's blessing, we are talking about blessing. Favor is, I mean, sorry, blessing is like a favor or a gift that is given to someone by God. Blessing is a form of favor or a form of gift that is given to you and to me by God. So when we're talking about Abrahamic blessing, the gifts and favor that the Lord gave to Abraham has been passed down to us because we are heirs of Abraham. And how do we establish this? How do we establish the fact that me and you, we are connected to Abraham's blessing? If you open your Bible to the book of Galatians chapter 3, Galatians chapter 3 from verse 14, I'm uh, sorry, verse 13 to 14. Paul was talking to the church in Galatians. He said, Christ redeemed us from that self-defeating cost life by absorbing it completely into himself. Do you remember the scripture that says, cost is everyone who hangs on the tree? That is, that is what happened when Jesus was nailed to the cross. He became a cause and at the same time dissolved the cause. Verse 14. And now, because of that, because of what Jesus did, the air is cleared 
and we can see that Abraham's blessings is present and available for non-Jews too. Abraham's blessings that we've been talking about because of what Jesus did. What did he do? He came to die. Not only that, he took away the cross. He put it upon himself and he was nailed to the cross for my sake and for your sake. And because of what he did, because of what happened to Jesus, the Bible says the air is cleared. I'm reading from the message version of the Bible. Says, the air is cleared. The coast is cleared. There is no more barrier. There is nothing stopping us from entering into that Abrahamic blessing. Abrahamic blessing before was solely for the Jews before Jesus came. Because they are descendants of Abraham, direct descendants of Abraham. So then, people who are limited, they cannot partake of these blessings. They cannot partake of this covenant. Why? Because they are not Jews. But Jesus came. He took away that barrier. Hallelujah. He took away that, that veil. He, he, he tore it into two. Hallelujah. So that you and I, we, are, we can now enter into the realm of this Abrahamic blessing. The Bible says, and now because of that, the air is cleared. And we can see that Abraham's blessings is present and available for non-Jews too. We are all able to receive God's life, his spirit in and with us by believing just the way Abraham received it. And how did Abraham receive it? Abraham received it by what? By faith. So for you and I to enjoy this Abrahamic blessing, which no man can take away from us because Jesus has handed it over to us on a platter of gold, we have to possess it. We have to operate in it by what? By faith. Because it was with faith that Abraham also obtained all this thing from God. So invariably, for you to enjoy Abraham's blessing, what do you need to do? Number one, you must be born again. If you are not born again, you will just be hearing about Abraham's blessings. You cannot operate in it. Because you need to connect to Jesus. And then he will hand over the keys to you. The key to open the vaults of these blessings. The key to operate in these blessings. You don't need to be any special tribe. You don't need to be a Jew. You don't need to be a Greek. No. That has been taken care of by the blood of Jesus. What you just need to do is what? To be born again. Surrender your life to him. Give your life to him. Acknowledge him as your personal savior and as your Lord. Then you are in for these blessings that we are talking about. God is never too late to bless any man. God is never too late. If you look at the story of Abraham, God called him out at age 75. At age 75, God said, leave your father's land, move away from there at age 75. So if you have been talking and crying to God and God has not answered you, know that God is never too late. He will do it at his own time. And when he does it, it's going to be beautiful. I pray that the Lord will visit someone this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Galatians chapter 3 verse 25. Galatians 3 25. 25 to 29. It says, but now you have arrived at your destination. By faith in Christ, you are in direct relationship with God. By faith in Christ. By the faith that you are going to be operating in Christ. You are in direct relationship with God. Your baptism in Christ was not just washing you up for a fresh start. It also involved dressing you in an adult faith wardrobe. Sorry, I love reading the message version of the Bible because it's very, very clear. And it makes more sense to me. It says your baptism in Christ was not just washing you up for a fresh start. When we baptize you, it's not because we just want you to start afresh. It says, it also involved dressing you in an adult faith wardrobe. 
putting up upon you a wardrobe that, that, that represents an absolute, somebody who, who has grown, who has grown to exercise this faith. The Christ's life, the fulfillment of God's original promise. Verse 28 it says, In Christ's family, there can no, there, there, in Christ's family, there can be no division into Jews and into non Jews, slave or and free, male and female. Among us, you are all equal. That is, we are all in, com- in a common relationship with Jesus Christ. And verse 29. Also, since you are in Christ's family, then you are Abraham's famous descendant. Hallelujah. Since we are in Christ's family, since we have connection, we have relationship, hallelujah, with Christ. That, not, that's very, that makes me so happy. Since we have connection with Christ, since we have recognized him as our savior, hallelujah, since we, are, we, have, we have professed him as the king of kings, he says, then you are Abraham's famous, not only descendant, famous. Is someone famous in the house this morning? Abraham's famous descendant. That is so good. That is so refreshing. Brethren, this morning, I'm summarizing everything that the pastor has taught us this month so that when we get out of this place, you will recognize who you are. You see, the way you present yourself is the way people will take you. You have to understand what you carry. I always say it. Until you begin to exercise what is on the inside of you, people will not take you for who you are. For those of us who are from Africa, we know the people that we call abalist. If one of them is here now with all their uh, regalia and all these things, some of us cannot, talk, cannot even touch them. We cannot even shake them. Why? Because we are afraid of them, because of what they have on them. So if we are afraid of somebody who cannot make a man, somebody who cannot do anything because of what he's putting on or because of what he's saying, then what about you and me that the Bible refers to us as famous descendants of Abraham? Abraham is the father of faith. God says, he's my friend. So we are descendants of a friend of God. Hallelujah. So until you understand these things, you cannot operate in the Abrahamic covenant blessings. What you carry determines how people relate with you. What you do with what you carry determines the level that you will get to. You see, sometimes when you operate in this kind of blessing, let me tell you a secret. People will think that you are proud. You are not proud. Is what is on the inside of you. And until you show the whole world, they will not recognize anything about you. Rather, will they recognize anything about your father? It's all about being proud. So when you do it, or when you profess it, or when you act it, if people are telling you you are proud, tell them I'm not proud. I am just showing you because I am sure of who I am. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Something is on the inside of me. You see, when you have all this mindset, brethren, fear will disappear. Even when things are not working the way you want it to work, you won't be afraid. It will not be disturbed. Because you know that if this does not work, God is going to make another way. Hallelujah. If this is not working, this another way is going to open. God can make sure that this door closes because he wants you to pass through the bigger door. And you'll be struggling to take the smaller one. That is how God operates. So if people are talking about you, they are saying, this man is jealous. If it's because you have something that they don't have. And if, if you are not saying anything about you, that means you are empty. Let me put it that way. You are empty. Because the, in life, if you are doing good, they will talk about you. If you are doing bad, so why don't you do good and let them talk? That is how to live life. Don't be afraid of what people will say or how they will react to you when you are operating in Abrahamic blessings. Because we are Abrahamic blessings, we set you it's very high. 
it will take you far beyond any human reasoning. Hallelujah. So quickly, let's examine the sevenfold covenant blessings of Abraham as seen in the book of Genesis chapter 12. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 3. Sevenfold blessing. We run through it quickly because of our time. Let me read the Bible passage. It says, God told Abraham, leave your country, your family, and your father's home for a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation and bless you. I will make you famous. You will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, those who curse you, our uh, cause. All the families of the earth will be blessed through you. The first blessing is that God said to Abraham, I will make you a great nation. I will make you a great nation. You see, when God is dealing with a man, God does not use the past of that man to address his future. If God is going to use Abraham's past to address his future, he will not tell him he's going to make him a great nation. God has seen where he's taking Abraham to. And he said, I, God, will make you a great nation. I pray for you this morning that as you operate in this Abrahamic blessing, God will make you a great nation in the mighty name of Jesus. The second blessing that God said to Abraham, he says, I will bless thee. I will do what? God will say, I, God, will bless thee. I will bless thee. I will empower you to succeed. That is what God is saying. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. You can read that. God is telling you, I will empower you to succeed. All you need to succeed in life, I will give to you. I will bless you. God will bless someone in the house this morning. Because it's only God that giveth power to make wealth. It's only God. When God gives you power to make wealth, it will just be as if you are a magician. Because whatever you lay your hands to do, it will just be... It's only God that giveth power to make wealth. I pray for you this morning that you receive empowerment to succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will bless you in every area of your life. The Lord will bless you in the city. The Lord will bless you in the country. You will be a blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Proverbs 10, 22 says, The blessing of the Lord make it rich and addeth no sorrow. The blessings of the Lord. God is speaking to someone in the house this morning. As this month is going to an end, the Lord said, I will bless thee. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. The third covenant blessing that God gave to Abraham that we are to operate in is, I will make your name great. I will do what? I will make your name great. I pray for you this morning. Receive greatness in the mighty name of Jesus. May your name be great in the mighty name of Jesus. See, in life, great names matters most. And good name matters too. It's only the Lord that can make the name of a man great. For Abraham said, I will make your name great. I pray for you this morning. Every evil author answering to your name, this fire of Holy Ghost will consume this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Your name will henceforth be associated with wealth, with respect in the mighty name of Jesus. The fourth thing that the Lord wants Abraham to enjoy and also, I mean, God gave to Abraham to enjoy and wants us to enjoy is that I will make you a blessing. I will do what? I will make you a blessing. The second one says, I will bless thee. So after blessing, he now said, I will do what? I will now make you to be a blessing. God will make you a channel of blessing. That's what the Lord is saying, a channel of blessing. So that anyone that is associated with you will see the blessings of the Lord in your life. You know, it's not good for only one person to be a blessing and the other people to be languishing in poverty or whatever. That is what the Lord is saying now. That anyone that is connected with you, with, that is going to bless them. Look at Lot. Lot was connected to Abraham. And the Lord, the Lord blessed Lot through Abraham. That is what the Lord is going to do in your life this morning. The Lord will make you a blessing unto nation in the mighty name of Jesus. 
can see the story of Abraham too. Abraham was a giver because the Lord wanted him to be what? A blessing to people. He was a great titer. He's someone that does not hold back. Even he offered his son to God as a sacrifice. He was a blessing. And the fifth thing is, I will bless them that bless you. The Lord is saying this morning that anyone that blesses you, he will bless those people. That is when the issue of destiny helper comes in. Destiny helpers are people that God has ordained to be, I mean, to, to help you to get to the place of your destiny. God has ordained them that they will be a channel of blessing to you. And God is saying, I will bless anyone that blesses you. You remember the king could not rest until Mordecai was elevated. That is a destiny helper. Destiny helper are, are people that are sent to your life to be a blessing to you. And God is saying, He will bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. And number six says, I will curse them that curse you. Anyone that is cursing you, the Lord is saying, I will curse them in the mighty name of Jesus. Because say, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. No weapon. No weapon. Numbers 23, 23. It says, no magic spell can bind Jacob. No incantations can hold back Israel. People will look at Jacob and Israel and say, what a great thing has God done. That is going to be your testimony. People will see you and they will say, ah, concerning this brother, concerning this sister, what a great thing the Lord has done. That will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. That will be the portion of your children in the mighty name of Jesus. And lastly, it says, through you shall all families of the earth be blessed. This is what I call global advertisement. God is saying that he will advertise you globally. You will not be localized. Say, through Abraham, all the families of the world will be blessed. I declare this morning that through you, chain of poverty will be broken in your family in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree this morning that chain of sicknesses will be broken in your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that does not befit a child of God, Lord is saying, I am removing it from your life this morning because he wants you to be a blessing to all families of the world. In life, there are three dimensions of, pro of prosperity. There is what we call the financial prosperity, the health prosperity, and the spiritual uh, prosperity. This morning, Abrahamic blessing is what can take you into the realm of, of this blessing. It says, I, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as what as your soul is prospering. So we have financial prosperity, we have the health prosperity, and we have the prosperity of the soul. Lord, the Lord is taking someone into this realm in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, what did Abraham do to get to this point? As I ran up. What did he do? I have just six points quickly. I will run through them. Number one, Abraham had faith and belief in God. He had total faith and belief in God. See, sometimes when you want to exercise your faith, just read the book of Genesis. Just read the story of Abraham and see how he walked with the Lord. He never doubted God one day. When God says go, Abraham will go. When God says turn to the right, Abraham will turn to the right. He had faith and total belief in God. Number two, he had total obedience to God's instruction. Many of us, we are missing our blessings because what we do is what you call partial obedience. One leg in, one leg out. The Lord, we understand. We are in the era of grace. Brethren, God is the same yesterday, today, and will remain the same forever. It does not change. It does not change. You cannot have partial obedience and think that you will operate in the realm that people like Abraham operated. No. If you want to enjoy Abrahamic blessing, you must have full obedience to God's instruction. Number three, Abraham was a sacrificial giver. 
Abraham was what? A sacrificial giver. You see, I used to say, say, say this thing. In as much as they don't want us to talk about giving, we will talk about it. Because if we don't talk about it, we are going to shortchange ourselves. Brethren, unbelievers, they give more than we believers. And that's why you see that people who are very rich, most of them, they are unbelievers. Because they understand the principle of giving. In as much as the rain will fall, and the rain will fall on anybody, everybody. The same thing, if you operate with the principle of giving, you will enjoy the blessings that follows. Abraham was a sacrificial. What test do you want? The, a child that God gave to him at old age, and God said, go and sacrifice this boy. Abraham did not blink. He did not question God. He took the boy to the altar of sacrifice. A sacrificial giver. Abraham was a tighter. He gave 10% to Melchizedek. He was a tighter. Number five, Abraham was hardworking. Because that's another problem we Christians have nowadays. So God has promised us everything. We want drive through, sharp, sharp. It doesn't work that way. God said, I will bless the work of your hand. To show for God to bless. What do you want him to bless? If God says, okay, everybody, bring your work out. And you don't have anything to show. Or you've not been doing anything. God is not going to bless anything. His words are yea and amen. It does not change. It will not change because of you. Abraham was very, very hardworking. He had cattles. He had servants. He organizes his house. If you want the blessings of Abraham to be upon your life, you have to work very hard. You have to work extra hard. If you need to do more certification, do it. I tell people this country is very good, but you must know how to tap into the realm of the supernatural to understand how this land works. The la and the lastly, number six, Abraham was heavenly focused. He did not allow anything to distract him. Even when his servants and Lord's servants were fighting, that he's supposed to choose the better side of the field, he asked Lord, choose first, so that you will not distract me. Carry your while and go. He was heavenly focused. He followed God. When Angel visited, he treated them nicely. Just look at his life. Look at the life of Abraham. I pray for you this morning that you begin to operate in this realm in the mighty name of Jesus. Every grace that you need to operate in Abrahamic blessing, the Lord will release upon your life this morning. Let us rise up on our feet as we close the service. As we close the message. Jeremiah 23, verse 29. I'm going to pray this morning. Just three, two, three prayers. Jeremiah 23, verse 29. It says, It's not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. See, the word of the Lord is so powerful. Powerful than two edges. So we are going to pray this morning. Say, Lord, let your word let it penetrate into my life and destroy every work of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this morning. Say, Lord, your word is like a fire. Let your word penetrate my life, O oh Lord. And let the fire of your word, let it consume anything that is not of you. Anything that will not make me to operate in this Abrahamic blessing. Let your word that is like a fire. Father, let it consume all powers of the enemies in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this morning, Lord. Let your word, let it begin to do wonders in my life. Say, man, they, and this word is like a armor that breaketh the rock in pieces. Pray this one. Say, Lord, let your word be like a hammer, breaking every barrier in my life, breaking every gate 
in my life. Removing every roadblock. The word of God is like a hammer. Pray this one that your, let your word dismantle every barrier in my life. Barrier that has been set by the enemy for me not to enjoy this Abrahamic blessings. Let your word that is like a hammer. Father, let it begin to break those things in pieces. Let it begin to break them in pieces. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let them begin to destroy every walks of darkness in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this morning. Say, Father, make me a great nation this morning. Pray that prayer. Say, Father, make me a great nation, O Lord. Make me a great nation, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Make my children a great nation, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. He may say, Abraham, I will make thee a great nation. Pray Lord, this morning. Father, because of the blood that was shed for my sake, the blood of Jesus, make me a great nation, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this morning. Ask the Lord to bless you. And he say, Lord, bless me indeed. Bless my family indeed. Bless my children indeed. Bless the works of my hand indeed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this morning, Lord. Father, give me a great name, O Lord. Give me a great name. A name that will be terror to the kingdom of darkness. A name that the enemy will earn and they will flee. Father, give me a great name. Pray this morning. Give me a great name. Give my children a great name, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give me a great name in this generation, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this morning. And pray that the Lord, say, Lord, make me a blessing unto many. Make me a blessing unto this generation. Make me a blessing unto nation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, make me a blessing in every area of my life. Make me a blessing wherever I go. In the mighty name of Jesus. And praise the Lord. Give me a global impact. Let my impact be felt globally. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know what you are doing. Whether you, are, you have a job that you want the Lord to advertise. Whether you have a skill that you want the Lord to advertise. If you can cry unto him, they say, Lord, Lord, let my impact be felt globally. In the mighty name of Jesus. Abraham's impact was felt globally. Even up to today. It's, Abraham is, was known among the Muslims, among the Jews, among the Christians, among every religion. Say, Lord, let my impact... Let it be felt globally. Let it be felt globally. And I want you to begin to decree that, Father, in your power, I begin to walk in this Abrahamic blessing. From today, O oh Lord, I begin to walk in this Abrahamic blessing. I begin to walk in this favor. I begin to walk in this blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am walking in it. I am walking in it. I'm operating in it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Abraham's blessings are mine. Begin to declare it. Declare it this morning. Declare it this morning. Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. They are on the inside of me. I will operate in them. I will become unstoppable. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will be blessed in the whole house. I will be blessed when I go out. I will be blessing so to nation. I will be a great nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, I walk in Abraham's blessings. I operate in Abraham's blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to begin to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. That nothing will take away these blessings from your life. Cover your, those blessings. Cover them with the blood of Jesus. That Father, nothing will take away these blessings from my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will operate in this blessing. Whether the enemy likes it or not, I will fulfill my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will fulfill my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, my children will fulfill their destiny because they will operate in this blessing. In this Abrahamic blessing, they will be unstoppable. They will be unstoppable. They will be unstoppable. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I want you to commit the new month into the hand of the Lord. That Lord, as we go into this new month, Father, make it a month of favor for me. A month of peace. 
a month of great achievement. Pray that this new month will bring you new opportunities. New opportunities. Pray that this new month, new doors will open unto you. Great and mighty doors will open unto you on their own accord. The blessings will follow you round about. Every day of this new month, decree this morning that blessings will be yours all over. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Pray for you this morning. And the name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus, that you begin to operate in this Abrahamic blessings. That you begin to walk in this Abrahamic blessing. That the word of the Lord will begin to walk one dust in your life. The word of the Lord will be a fire unto your bone. Destroying every works of darkness. Destroying every power of the enemy. The word of the Lord will be an armor on your life. It will scatter every plan of the evil one. It will destroy every satanic roadblock. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree this morning that you become unstoppable. Hey, you become unstoppable. You move from greater things to greater things. Greater heights to greater heights. In the mighty name of Jesus. The word of the Lord will work wonders in your life. It will work wonders in your marriage. It will work wonders in your family. It will work wonders in the life of your children. Your life will be better than before. In the mighty name of Jesus. I decree new doors to be opened unto you. Great doors to be opened unto you. Doors of blessing. Doors of breakthrough. Doors of new opportunities. Be open in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask that heaven will favor you. Wherever you go, heaven will go with you. The peace of the Lord will reign in your life. Either though you have been disturbed, receive the peace of the Lord. Receive the peace of the Lord. In every area of your life, receive the peace of the Lord. In your marriages, receive the peace of the Lord. In your homes, receive the peace of the Lord. Your health is restored this morning. Your health is restored this morning. Your health is restored this morning. That unfavorable report is turned around this morning. Receive good news this morning. Receive good news this morning. Receive good news this morning. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I pray for someone under the side of my voice this morning. Every power that is, has been tormenting you, every power that has been disturbing you in your sleep, every power that has been hindering you from moving forward, because the word of the Lord has come unto you this morning, and that word is like a hammer in your life this morning, those things are being destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Those powers are being destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive grace for grace this morning. You will be a delight unto the Lord. Amen. The Lord will respond to your plea this morning. Amen. The Lord will open a new chapter in your life this morning. Amen. The Lord will write a new story concerning you this morning. Amen. The Lord will give you a new name this morning. Amen. You will operate in this blessing. Amen. You will operate in this Abrahamic blessings. Amen. All the days of your life, you will operate in this Abrahamic blessing. Amen. You will be a blessing to many generations. Poverty will be far away from you. Failure will be far away from your family. Shame will be far away from your family. Your children will do excellently well. They will progress in life. They will bring joy unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. We give you all the praise this morning. Give you all the honor this morning. Thank you, Lord, for the work of redemption. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen.
praise the Lord.